Hi, welcome to another video. So, there's a new AI coder in town, and it's called Bind AI. They have recently added their new IDE option that aims to replace Lovable, Cursor, Replit with a single IDE interface. Now, it's not those crappy IDs. It's just named IDE, but it is more of a similar interface to things like Bolt and Lovable. It is currently powered by Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, DeepSeek R1, and OpenAI 03 Mini as well. You can try it out for free right now with the smaller models. It is also fully agentic, which means that it can automatically generate code files, project structure, execute dependencies, run terminal commands, and generate live preview with IDE. You can generate full-stack web applications similar to Bolt and Lovable, and create complex back-end applications with React, Python, Java, and 20-plus languages, which is kind of cool. It allows you to sync your GitHub repositories and chat with your code base, enhance your existing code, or create new code by referencing your existing code, which is also great to see. Now, let me just dive in and let's see how it works. So, just get yourself signed up through the link in the description and you'll end up here. This is the IDE. You can see that this looks pretty simple and easy to use. At the top, you can see this drop down where you'll see the projects that you have created listed here. You can create a new project here or navigate to another one. Then, you can see that we have the main chat interface here. On the left, we have some options. The first one is this thread option. The thread option allows you to create multiple threads of chat within the same project, which is great to not mess up context with super old history messages. So, this is quite good. We also have the code option where we'll chat. But, we also have the GitHub option here, where we can set up GitHub repos that we want to make bind work on. You can just set up your tokens here, and then use your private or public repos and work on that. Now, let's come to the chat thing. Here, you can see the source option, where you can make its context focused on one thing. Like if you want to make it work from scratch, then the no context is great while GitHub option allows you to make it work on your GitHub repo, and the file uploads allow you to work accordingly on the stuff, and you can also upload your local project to it as well via the file uploads option, which is also great to see. Now, then we have the model options here. The model options are bifurcated into four sections, API key, advanced, ultra, and basic. The advanced one contains these models like Haiku, GPT-4.0, 3.5 Sonnet, and others, while in the Ultra, you'll see some of the best models like R1 Distill, O3 Mini, and Claude 3.7 Sonnet. I like to use Claude 3.7 Sonnet because it's the best. In the basic ones, you'll get these models which are also fine, and you can also set your own API key here and use that which is also great to see. Now, at the right you can see the files that once made can also be edited here. And you can also see the git stuff here along with terminal where you can run commands. And once the code is generated, it will also be previewed here, which is also kind of great. Now, let me show you how you can use it all. I'm going to ask it to make me a job search portal you should generally give it as much detailed prompt as you can, but smaller prompts also work fine. Anyway, I have selected this 3.7 sonnet here. You can also select any other one like DeepSeek R1, which is hosted in the US and is extremely fast. It produces about 1,000 tokens per second, which is kind of amazing. Now, once we send it, you'll see that it starts working on the stuff. It has a built-in agent mode, which automatically generates all the files in the editor, saves the project in the proper structure, 
runs dependencies in the terminal, and loads the live preview, you can see the actions which the agent is taking and the status of those actions. It's actually really fast. You'll see that in just a little bit of time. It's now done, and it created the files, installed dependencies, and everything like that, which is kind of amazing. Now, we have the live preview here, which is great. You can also toggle between the editor view and preview as needed. In the edit view, you can also edit any file and save it as well, and the preview will get automatically updated. The terminal at the bottom can be manually used to run dependencies, create directories, and restart or stop the server. Terminal currently only supports limited JS-based dependencies. So, this is kind of cool as well. Also, if there are any errors while building the application, you can simply copy-paste the error log from the terminal and paste it into the AI Copilot and ask it to regenerate all the files. Let's also try to make some changes to it as well. I'm going to ask it to just add another page to it that details the job description. Once we do that, you'll see that it again starts working on it. It will again rewrite the files in order to implement this change. So, let's just wait a bit here because it will stream the responses. It is quite fast. And it's now done. So, you can just see it here, and it did the stuff pretty well. So, this is quite amazing. Some more stuff that I want to mention for best results is that you should always create a new project and start a new thread to get a fresh start. Otherwise, the context will get messed up at times. You should also generally use 3.7 Sonnet, O3 Mini, or R1, as that will generally yield the best results as it can do reasoning. I use R1 a lot, so you can use that as well, and it's also extremely fast. So, you can use it as well. Some of the upcoming features that they are working on is first an option to deploy hosted application or code to Netlify, GitHub, and other destinations. They are also working on an integration with Supabase, Firebase, and more. They are also working to allow it to build a complex backend using Python and other stacks, which is also great to see. Currently, it's under waitlist. So, you can click the link in the description and get yourself added to the list, and you should get access pretty soon. It will have a free tier as well. So, that should be great to use for free as well. You can go ahead and click the link in the description and get yourself registered, as it will allow you to have a really good alternative to Bolt, Lovable, and others. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.